Okay, uh, I'm getting ready to fit the uh, inner cover um, and we're going to index the gears. Before we do that, I'm just going to try and explain a bit about indexing the gears. So what happens is when you uh, when you change gear with your <coughs> gear lever, then the two uh, plungers are in these teeth and whether you're going up or down, it moves this butterfly quadrant either up or down. And that... And that uh, changes gear up or down. How does it do that? Well, on the, of course, on the other end of the butterfly quadrant are these teeth. Now, these teeth engage with these teeth on the back of the cam plate. So, when this quadrant goes up or down, so it, it joins in with those teeth and moves them around. And then, in this case, it will uh, hopefully that will go up into neutral back down into Firth and so on. So, this, these teeth engage with these teeth. So, what does it mean? Well, what it means is that there's only so much movement on this quadrant. You know, it goes from there up to there. So, we have to sort of time it or index it or position it so that it's got maximum travel. So, at the moment, the uh, quadrant, the cam plate rather, is in first gear. So the only way it can go is up or sort of anti-clockwise from here. All right, so up into neutral, second and so on. But that means if we're going to engage our butterfly quadrant, obviously it needs to start at the bottom because it's got a long, long way to turn that all the way up to fifth gear. Yeah. Now, if the if this quadrant, let's say we position it on the middle tooth, by the time you know we're up into third, it's run out of room. It can't move anymore. So you can't find fourth or fifth. So as we're down in first, we really want that tooth down here somewhere. So do, 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 by the time this thing rotates and it's all the way up into fifth, then there's still room on the quadrant for that to move. So if that's in first, then we really want the quadrant, the, this, this side of the quadrant, as low down as we can. So that then, as this moves up, to, 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 to second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and then fifth gear at the top, and then to, to, to back down. So when we, uh, all we're doing is making sure that this is in the right place. Obviously, if it starts in the middle, and it's in first gear, it's gonna run out of room very quickly. So. We start with this nearly fully down when we're in first gear because we know it's the lowest position and then it's, gonna, it's got all that travel up to the highest position. So we start off with the quadrant and it's its natural position because the gravity just sort of takes it down to the bottom. So that side's at the bottom and therefore our side is at the top and we're in first gear. So if we put it in now, we know that we're going to get maximum movement on this when it engages that cog, if that makes sense. And that's basically it. The trouble is that when it's absolutely and utterly fully down, it won't engage. So what we actually do is we move it literally about a sixteenth of an inch until the first tooth is available. And that's when it will go in. And that happens to be when this tooth is in line with the center of this bush so as you can see it's just that, like that's naturally fallen down i just move it 16th of an inch and you'll find that that's position if i push this cover on now it simply won't engage because i know the teeth aren't quite lined up by just lifting that it will engage and the manual's confusing because it says when the second tooth is in line with this bush but it's taking this huge blank piece of metal as a tooth which i i don't but anyway that's what it says second tooth but that's the first tooth it's not a tooth but never mind second tooth in line and as you can see it's literally just you move that about 16 of an inch and then the teeth these teeth here uh these teeth will engage with the teeth on the cam plate and you're, full, and you're indexed because you've got maximum movement on this going all the way 
all the way up to fifth and all the way back down to first. So gearbox in first, this cam plate fully down. Then when it's nearly in, we just lift it that sixteenth of an inch until you feel the teeth engage and then it goes. In other words, our side as high up as it can possibly go with the teeth engaged. Absolutely fully up, the teeth won't engage, so that's why you just snitch it down a bit and then you feel those teeth engage. And when they're engaged, this tooth should be in line with the centre of this bush. And just uh, while I'm waiting for this well seal to go off, this lug here, uh, I find it difficult for you to see really because of the way the light is. Anyway, this uh, lug, it sticks out the bottom of the cam plate. Let's see if I can move it around a bit more. There. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Which is just after first. The first notch. This is the lug that the uh, neutral sensor, uh, neutral switch rather, works on. So, there, that's neutral. And this lug is just sticking out at a point when I get the box on which will line up with there and it's that that the neutral switch operates against this little lug and so basically when this lug comes round it pushes the switch in turns it on and then when it comes out of neutral up in uh, up into second or down into first then the uh, switch goes off okay I'm going to leave the gearbox back in first because I'm getting ready Put the gasket on and then put the inner inner cover on. Right, I think we're now ready to put the inner gearbox cover on. Got the well seal on, got the gasket on. Yeah, everything's ready. Double check, double 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 check. We're in first gear because if we're not in first gear, the whole thing is going to be uh, a waste of time. So uh, that means that lug is right up against the plunger. Yeah. Okay, and then we slide it on. Come set until we get up to where there we go. The gears are just starting. There we go. Just starting to. Oops. Just starting to engage. And. Uh, there, we've just done it, I think. There, you see it up there. Just, just moved itself down from the fully up position. And there we are. It automatically kind of did itself. We just moved that just down from the fully sort of up position. And now... This tooth here, I don't know if you can see, this is the bottom tooth. This is the second tooth here. And that lines up with the centre of that bush. And that should double check to know that you've done it right. Yeah, and that's it. And you can feel that that's tight because what's happened is the, the teeth on this side are now engaged. That's the doorbell. The teeth on this side are now engaged with that inner cam plate. I'll have to go. The doorbell's summoned me. And just by the by, what we've got, uh, five studs, I think, to put in. What was it? No, four studs to put in straight away. So inside the gearbox, we've got this uh, quarter Allen head stud. And a five sixteenths Allen head stud there inside the gearbox. And don't forget this sneaky uh, five sixteenths bolt under there. And at the bottom on the outside, we've got another quarter uh, Allen head. And then the other bolts are done up when the outer cover goes on. Right, so we're getting ready to fit the um, kickstart mechanism to the end of the gearbox main shaft. So there's a spacer washer, then a sleeve, with the spring goes over the top of it. Then the actual uh, pinion, and then the ratchet that goes on the pinion, 
which allows you to turns one way when you're kicking it and ratchets back the other way when you're not kicking it <coughs> so you know when it fires up you're okay then you've got a lock uh, a lock tab I never think these are very good because the actual lock tab itself is always very small you know and you know that can break off quite easily lock tab and then the gearbox main shaft uh, nut itself which has to be done up very tight and will also be uh, lock tightening it as well as the uh, lock tab washer if that comes undone if this nut comes undone when you're going along you don't want to know about it because basically all the gears will suddenly mesh together the back wheel will lock up and pulling the clutch in will have no effect whatsoever not not pretty so you need to make sure 100 percent sure that this nut is on nice and tight okay I'm going to uh, assemble the kickstart uh, mechanism so the spacer washer goes on first followed by the sleeve followed by the spring over the top of the sleeve followed by the uh, kickstart pinion uh, then followed by the ratchet And then the lock tab, bit of uh, lock tight, <clears throat> and then the actual nut on the end. Okay, and we're done up hand tight. And I'll yeah, I'm happy that the lock tab is in Virgo Intacto. And um, what I'm going to do now is go back round, lock, put the chain round the gearbox pocket again, this time in the opposite direction. Yeah, because I'll be tight, I'll be turning the main shaft this way. And so anyway, lock it there so we can get the torque on it to tighten this up this goes up to 45 pounds uh, 45 foot pounds so i'll put the chain on come back and we'll see if we can tighten this up okay i've locked the chain again in a different way uh, so i'm hoping that that will be okay that, oh, bugger. no it's not tight enough on the vice Got it. I didn't think it was going to go for a minute, but it's gone. Whew. So that's done up nice and tight. We've got lock tight on it, and now I'll put the two locking tabs over to make sure that nut's never going to come off. Great. So now we're ready to put the outer cover back on, the outer gearbox cover. <laughs> 